Man, does this look good? Does this? I mean, it. You gotta fix this side over here. It's kind of. It, it's supposed to be flop. Oh, okay. Oh gosh, that that looks nice. Is that like a commercial? It's like a could commercial. That be a commercial for it something? could be a commercial right there, Cody. I mean, that I don't know is. What for, but. I mean, this could be like your your coffee, your rise with the rooster coffee. Well, commercial. listen, every superhero has looks... a cape. Superman's got one. Any of them that are any count. Batman's got one, and now I got one. Okay. You're right, Cody. I mean, I'm glad you found the cape that fits you. Just oh, that's a good one right there. It's got the stoic stare. Cody uh, Clancy, are you embarrassed? No, not. <laughs> you don't I mean, care. Probably 5,000 people is going to see this, so. 5,000 people. Thank you to those 5,000 yeah, people. Yeah, thank you to our, our faithful followers. We appreciate you. All right, guys, we made it home. Cody. On the way home, I was able to procure this awesome. Fine-looking leather poncho. Leather poncho. Serapi, is it a serapi? You call it a serapi? I don't know, Sera a leather serapi or a leather I've poncho. Also I don't know. Referred to as drug rugs in some circles. I don't know if that's not what I'm using it for. It's surprisingly warm with this leather. I mean, it's not going to get dirty either. This leather's going to shed all kinds of stuff, and it's warm. It's, it's really sherpa warm. on the inside, so yeah, it's sherpa. <sighs> Sharper line. Anyways. I feel like Clint Eastwood in it, guys. Clint Eastwood. And the good, the bad, and the ugly. Anyways, we got home, so finally. We got home at like five o'clock, right? Yep. So we're gonna move our move We're some gonna sheep. move some sheep. This pasture that they're in, they've been in for all three or four weeks and it's starting to it's it's losing its color. It's going from a bright green to a kind of a dull green, almost a yellow. Um, so we're going to turn them in on a different pasture right now and uh, give this one a break. So Clarence is going to open that. Come on, sheep. Woo! Come on. Come on. Come on, sheep. Woo! Come on. Come on. I don't think they're listening. Yeah, they're coming. Open that, open that gate up. Come on, girls. Oh, that looks majestic now. Tell you what. Tell you Come what. Come on, girls. You like that, huh? Oh, yeah, that, that is majestic, Cody. Girls. Come on, Ruby. Let's go, Miranda, Lambert. Got one pulling up the rear way back there. Yeah. Ruby's like, heck yeah. Well, these are kind of slow over here. We'll leave that gate open. They're happy now. So we got them turned out here. There's some ryegrass coming up in this pasture that we planted back in the early fall. Um, with the ice storm that we got and the rains, it's coming up, it's perking back up. We got to graze it a little bit this fall. Um, and it's not really as big as I really want it, but they need, we needed them out of that pasture in front of the house. So they're not standing around here wanting a handout so that you can tell they like it. So come on, Bob. Bob, come on. Just get away from the gate and let them fall out. Move over, Nala. Get in here, coat. Go check the water trough, make sure it's got water in it. Nope. They're fixing to get in trouble by Sheba. Playing around. Sheba don't she don't play Sheba no games. She don't play no games no more. Nala knows that. Nala knows that firsthand. She got too close to a dead lamb the other day and chomped. Sheba got she got chomped by Sheba. Where are these girls going? Running. Let's see, did the mother come out? They're slowly but surely making their way out the gate. So. Seaver? You don't want to be in the video? 
No. We need to. Uh, Did you have fun in Arkansas? Yeah. Cody has his friend back. Together again. Together again. Where are we going to look at now? Water trough, make sure it's filled up, working good. Then we'll go on. And that the, tank is full down there. Yep, it's even backed up in the little creek there. It's so full. So. But ours is not. But according to some of the meteorologists, this dry weather pattern is fixing to be blowed out. The El Nino or La Nina, I'm not sure which one is which. But um, So hopefully this spring we'll break this, this dry weather pattern and get back into the wet weather. So water trough is full, functioning. So we're, we're good there. Steel. I have plenty to water on. What you doing, Steely? Let's go over here and check the liquid feeder. Your Sherpa's coming out on me, Cody. Is it? Yeah, I'm running to wash it or something to get all that out of there. So it don't get all over everything, but probably just wearing it. Yeah. Probably the best thing. So we did a video a while back on our liquid feed feeder. So, oh, is he? So this is the same load of feed. These sheep aren't eating very much of this at all. Um, they've been off of it for, oh, maybe, maybe three or four weeks now. But so it's down, it's down about that far. If you remember when I filled it up the first time, it just ran out the top, I overfilled it. So. Um, they beat it down about that far. It's still got plenty in it. Um, I may bring an air hose, depending on if we got time tomorrow or not, up here and stick an air hose with a spout in it and just kind of stir it up real good with that. I don't think you necessarily have to do that, but th it did say on their website to do it occasionally if you had had a chance. So we'll probably try that. Man, does this look good? Does this? I mean, it. you got to fix this side over here. It's kind of. It, it's supposed to be floppy. Oh, okay. oh gosh, that that looks nice. Is that like a commercial? It's like a could commercial. That be a commercial for it could something? be a commercial right there, Cody. Well, I mean, that I don't know is. What for, but... I mean, this could be like your your coffee, your rise with the rooster coffee. Well, commercial. listen, every superhero has looks... a cape. Superman's got one. Any of them that are any count. Batman's got one, and now I got one. Okay. You're right, Cody. I mean, I'm glad you found the cape that fits you. Just oh, that's a good one right there. It's got the stoic stare. Cody, uh, Clancy, are you embarrassed? No, not <laughs> You don't I mean, care? Probably 5,000 people is going to see this, so. <laughs> 5,000 people. <laughs> thank you to those 5,000 yeah, people. Yeah, thank you to our, our faithful followers. We appreciate you. I think let's shut them out of this pasture right over here for right now. Once we get, we're going to try to make an appointment for Sheba this week to get her uh, fixed so she doesn't have any more puppies. I don't want other dogs coming over here, her going to, to find other dogs. And we don't, with the new puppies that we've got, you know, three guard dogs will be enough to last us for a while. Um, so what I want to do is I'm going to shut these sheep out of here, let them work this for a little bit, and then There's hopefully... Some green stuff coming up under yeah, there. Hopefully this week we can get Sheba an appointment to get her fixed. When we do that, we'll have to pull put the sheep back in front of the house just to keep them safe right there. And we may just pin them up at night up there. But what my thinking is, is if we leave them out here for a week or two, once sheep is good and healed up, we can put them in here. This is a coastal field and it should start to come out a little after, uh, somewhere a little after Easter, first of April, it should start growing. So what I'd like to do is shut these sheep in here for however long it takes for them to mow all this old growth down pretty good. Just leave just a little bit of stubble there. Um, like on your face? Yeah, just like on my face. And uh, that way it'll it'll leave leave room for that new growth to come on unencumbered there. Nala, let's go. Where's Nala, dog? Come on, short legs. Come on, Nala. Oh, she, she can't even get through there. She can't uh -oh. get under there. She can't get under there. Bob, you have to go let her in. I'll get her. <laughs> Poor Nala. Come on, Nala. Nala, you gotta try. Poor you Nala. ain't even trying. Pepper probably can't even get out of there. Come on, Pepper. 
They can go the long way around. What's the long way? Through the neighbor Back pasture? Back through the pasture, yeah. You lock the doggies in there, bub. Come on, girls. Oh, no, Pepper, don't let nope, Pepper get in. Don't. Nope. Pepper's wet. Pepper can't go by the, the tank or the water trough. Pepper can't go by the tank or the water trough without getting in it. So, where'd Diaz go? She's in front of you. Laying on the ground? Probably. Get out there. No, she's behind us. in the color can you see it on the camera you think in this pasture right here and in the pasture back there where our house yeah, is you can see it goes from a, a really deep green to kind of a greenish yellow so we're going to pull off that and give it some time to to recover and grow back up and then you know graze this a little bit it, it should there's about there in front of the house there's about 10 acres there's about 30 about 30 or so in here 35 so they're going to have three times as much. So this should really grow faster than they can eat it and give them plenty of time to, you know, it'll, it'll continue to, to outgrow them. So, and then we'll get them shut up in there. So that, that's what we got going on. So, um. All right, we lied, we're back. What are we looking at now? Oh no, it's just a hole. another hole. Pepper don't think so. Does it look like a skunk hole? Maybe. It's something's in there. It's a big, pretty big hole with down through some rocks, something squeezing in there. Clance, go stick your arm in there and see if you feel anything. <laughs> he says no. Clance says no way, Jose. All right, we're back. We came back over here and found a little lamb that didn't go through the with the rest of them. And it looks poor. So we pinned it. I didn't video that because... Well, I tried to, but I apparently didn't hear it record. So now we're gonna go give it some medicine. It's uh, it's just a little poor doer lamb. It had never been very good since it was born, but uh, she looks, she don't look too good today. So I'm gonna give her a little wormer, a little shot of antibiotic to just to, if there's anything going on in there to knock that out of her and put her up there with uh, those bottle lambs that we've got weaned off and let them try to See if she'll get on some feed and get, get to eating that away. What if I got a ranch gun in here? What's up, Lefty? All right, it's our last day with all your hair, Lefty. Thelma. Your last day. You shall be naked tomorrow. You will be naked tomorrow. Mom, come shut this gate, please. Just come through it and then Just close it, it back. Just push it shut with your yeah. foot. It'll be all right. there if you can okay, I'm gonna so we got a little lamb here that's not looking too good I'm gonna give her a shot of black leg which is an overeaters shot because I'm gonna put her on some feed I'm also gonna give her an antibiotic I'm gonna give her some I think I've got some LA 200 in here that's about eject. I have to look around in here guys sorry it's yeah some LA 200 Give her just a little bit of that, and then I'm also going to worm her and see if we can't get her to doing good. She's kind of been a poor doer her whole life. She's not real good, um, but we're going to see if uh, see if this will help her get perked up. We're also going to leave her up here in the pen with these uh, these little bottle lambs that we're weaning right now, and see if we can get her on some feed there and get her to feeling better. So let's do that first. So. So that's the antibiotic to help her get over what's going on right there. And then I need about five cc's of this. 
which is the black leg. There's an overeater shot. And then I'm gonna warm, I'm gonna drench her with some Val Basin drench. Val Basin sheep drench for worms. Let's see, sheep it says 25 pounds. So she needs about a she don't need but about a cc of this. I washed the wrong syringe out for that. A lot of that foam, so. Open up here, little one. All right, bub. Let's put her in there with them boys. We appreciate you guys coming along with us, and we yep. thank you for your, your likes and your follows and your comments down below. We love all the comments. Y'all be sure and tell us what you want to see and hear about. If you got questions that we can answer in a video, drop them down in the comments. And, and be sure you go like uh, our Instagram and Facebook if you have not done so already. Because yep. we're trying to get our, in, our Facebook following up so that we can um, just put more information out that way too. We offer kind of different things on there too. So yep. We're beginning to realize, you know, in, our, in our, this social media journey that we're on that we're on every kind of outlet yeah. that they like. So, um, so, so get us over there and help us build that following because the, the higher our following is in those other platforms, the more they push that stuff out. Yeah, and the so, more people will see it. And... and uh, we enjoy advocating for ag and letting people know what their farmers and ranchers here in Central Texas are doing. And we appreciate you guys coming along yeah. with us today on this video. And y'all keep always, ranching. keep ranching. We got anything to say? No. Okay.